you guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i got this slick back bun you guys have seen me wear this before in one of my videos and on snapchat and instagram and all that good stuff but i never really showed you guys how i did it and some of you guys actually want to know so if you guys are interested in how i do my hair like this please stay tuned and keep watching Okay, so I just got out the shower and normally when I do this style, my hair is drenched when I get out of the shower because that's how I normally do it and it's easier for me to get through. There's a whole bunch of things you can do to get this style, but I'm just going to show you guys one way to do it, which is with the spray bottle when my hair has already been done, I guess you could say. Um, but if I was going to, I thought it was a bug on this, his hair. Anyways, if I was going to be doing this straight out of the shower, I would have came on camera with my hair already drenched, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and take this bow out of my hair and it's probably stuck. Hopefully it's not. Okay. And I'm going to be using two bows to pull my hair back in a slick back ponytail because it gives me more security when I use two bows. Right now I'm just wetting my roots because they need to be wet for the style. Basically your whole head needs to be wet for the style. And make sure you do this before you get dressed because you're gonna get water everywhere so I always do this before I get dressed and before I do my makeup because I just don't want to mess up my makeup or my outfit if I'm doing this um if you guys are wondering what my hair type is I honestly do not know I mean I'm pretty sure it's like in the 4a 4b 4c family but I honestly do not know and I've been natural for I want to say like three years I think I've been natural for like three years I think I just do what works for my hair like sometimes I literally put lotion in my hair because it works for my hair another thing some of you guys wanted to know if I got any heat damage from straightening my hair and my hair is going to be straightened back out pretty soon um but I didn't really get too much heat damage in the back I got some heat damage but I didn't really get any heat damage not any that I'm like oh my gosh my hair is straight in certain areas no I didn't really get anything like that okay so now that my hair is wet I'm going to like part it off and I'm gonna work on one side first to detangle it I'm gonna put this side up take this big old paddle brush that is broken and I need to get another one but I haven't went to go get another one and I'm just going to detangle this side of my hair and I'll start detangling from the bottom all the way up when you guys see me doing this little sleek style it actually takes me a minute to do this is not just a quick style i mean it is a quick style but then again it's not a quick style because there's so many steps behind the sleekness yeah you're gonna need some time to do this in the morning but once you have it done just wrap your hair every night and you'll be good me personally i don't wrap my hair every night i just go to sleep and take the bun out so that's why i have to do this every morning sometimes and then I'm just going to twist this to keep it detangled and we'll come back. I'm just going to detangle this side. Usually it takes me a lot longer to detangle my hair, but since my hair has already been in this style, it's a little easier. So that's a good thing. I don't know where it cut off at, but I'm just twisting this. Now that my hair is detangled, I'm going to take a comb. I don't know where my real comb is. Cause I need to part my hair but I'm just gonna use this comb and I'm going to part my hair and I really can't even tell how I'm parting this because this mirror is too small okay so I had to go off camera to get the part straight but um, I just use my rat tail comb to do it okay so the next thing I usually do is get my Eco Styler Gel. I've been using this gel since I've been natural. I think I've been using this before I was even natural. This is the only gel I use. So if you guys ever see my hair slicked, this is the gel that I use. Okay, so I'm just slapping gel all throughout my hair. And this is going to use a lot of gel. So if you don't want to use a lot of gel, then this is, this is not really the style for you. So all I'm doing is taking the gel through one side of my hair first 
and then I'll do the other side. And when I'm doing this like on freshly washed hair, I'll have to like part my hair, take some gel on that side, and brush it down just to make sure everything is like slicked down. So sometimes you're gonna have to work in layers, especially if you're working on like wet hair, like coming out of the shower wet hair. And I just found this brush in the bathroom. I'm pretty sure it's my mom's, but this brush is so hard and I was like, oh my gosh, I can use this. So I basically just took my mom's brush, but she'll get it back. And then we're not focusing on our edges right now because I have to get everything like slicked back. We're going to do the edges at the end. That in ponytail. Take some more gel. Slap it all over. <laughs> Honestly, I probably don't need this much gel because, like I said, I've already had my hair in this style. So there's still gel in my hair. You just got to make sure everything is laid. And like I said, you're going to have to work in layers. So you're going to have to like part your hair and make sure this area is like laid down properly. This brush is not doing it for me right now. Taking this big brush, just laying this part down. And I'm just going to flip this side over. I already have gel in it, but I'm going to put some more. Make sure this area is laid too. And it just looks flatter just with doing that little technique. So, if you can't get your hair to be sleek, then you probably might want to try that little technique. So now that everything is laid, go back to the side, take this ponytail out, and I just grabbed it with my hand that's holding this side. I'm just going to brush everything into a ponytail. I really don't know what the back of my head is looking like right now, but hopefully it looks okay. Just brushing everything to a ponytail. I'm going to brush the back up a tad bit, lining up with like the little hump in my head. Okay, so once you get your ponytail to look how you want it to look, then that's when you will put your hair in a ponytail. And like I said, I'm using two bows and I wrap the bow around about three or four times and then I'll take my little sock donut that I've made over the years. So I'm just going to stick my fingers through the middle of the donut and I'm going to pull my ponytail through the donut and then I'm just going to take my brush and brush my hair over the donut to make sure the donut isn't showing through and make sure you feel around to make sure nothing is showing through because right here I can feel that the donut is showing through so I'm just going to keep brushing everything over okay so I think we are good now I'm going to take another hair tie and place this over the donut like so, and I'm just going to tuck my hair in the donut. And then for my baby hairs, I do my baby hairs after I do my makeup. Um, because they're just going to get messed up once I start my makeup. So I just do it after my makeup is done. So I'm just going to take this hair tie and place it over everything. So my hair can like dry. It's not going to dry fully. But this is going to like allow my hair to mold into place while I'm doing my makeup. Okay, so everything has basically set into place. Now I'm just going to go in with my gel and my spoolie. Um, this is from my NYX eyebrow pencil that I don't use anymore. Um, you can use a spoolie like this. You can use a toothbrush. Or you can use like an actual spoolie. But I'm just going to use this one since I've been using it. Okay, so I picked up a little bit of gel on my finger and I'm just going to tap it over my edges that I'm about to pull out to 
take it on my sideburns down there. Okay, so now that the gel is on my baby hairs, I'm gonna start with this part right here. So where my part is, I go like away from my part, if you guys get what I'm saying. I'm gonna take the spoolie first, and then right behind the spoolie, I'm gonna take my finger to press my baby hairs down, and then swoop it to the side, just like that. And I don't like my baby hairs to be like stuck to my forehead. I like them to like curl up like they're doing now. So I just want the top part to be like stuck to my forehead. If you guys get what I'm saying. I'm gonna pull this side out and down. Out and down. Just pulling it out and down. Out and down. Out. Up. Out. Up. And then this side is like my problem side. I just let this side do whatever it wants to do. But I just, I do the same technique. It just doesn't look like this side. So I'm pulling it out and down. Out and down. I'm kind of doing like a swooping motion too, like an S. If you guys can see that. Do the same thing to this part sticking out. Out, down. Out and down. And then for like my sideburns, I do the same thing. I pull them out, like away from my ear, and down. Make sure you use your finger to like press this area down. Um, and if you do wear makeup, you are going to have makeup on your spoolie. That's just how it's going to be. Um, I normally don't really mind it. It doesn't really mess up my makeup too much because after I'm done doing my baby hairs, everything dries back down into place. So doing this when you have makeup on isn't really a big deal. And I don't tie my edges down after this because normally it just messes up my baby hair. So I don't tie my edges down. I just let them do what they do and lay how they want to lay. I just kind of manipulate them a little bit. Gotta make sure this area. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you guys so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next upload.